Hey guys, and CSFan001 here, and this is something I was really not expecting, because those of you who have seen me do trophy list analysis videos in the past, they are almost always done on games with a platinum. Well, this time we're doing something a little different, because this game intrigues me a bit. Uh, this list is for Heavy Fire Red Shadow. Uh, for those who don't remember, the Heavy Fire series came out in, I believe it was 2011 and 2012, as a series of four on-rails uh, shooters on rail shooter games, and only two of them were ever released for the PS3. That was uh, Shattered Spear and Afghanistan, and they both were known for having pretty easy Platinums. Uh, the other two, I think, were like Wii exclusives or something. So Heavy Fire Red Shadow is now randomly coming out six years later on October 16th, 2018. It comes with 13 total trophies worth 315 points, one gold, three silvers, nine bronzes, no Platinum. So, let's take a look. So the trophy list looks very simple, but I have actually looked up some gameplay, and interestingly enough, the developers swear that this game is going to be really, really challenging. It's supposedly going to be both a campaign mode and an endless mode, so it looks like you're going to have to play some of both, and supposedly people are saying it is a perfect copy of, like, I mean, not perfect in the sense of, like, a perfect game, but just, like, a total copy of some other game. I don't know how true that is, but that's a rumor I've heard. So, for the trophies, we have a silver trophy, the Destroyer, kill 30,000 invaders. Given that there's an endless mode, that's probably not going to be that hard, because you get swamped with enemies on a beach that you're defending, or other places that you're defending. They said it's, like, a 360-degree turret shooter. Uh, Son of a Beach, and these are all bronze, cleared Gun Beach. No Love Boat, cleared Opera Harbor. The Red Sky, cleared Anderson Air Force Base. Golden Shores, clear Hagatna. I think I pronounced that right, that's kind of weird. And then Invasion Thwarted, finish the game. That's a gold trophy, so those are your five campaign trophies, and I guess the rest can be earned in campaign or endless. We have our last two silvers here. What a lovely day. Destroy 1,000 vehicles and get to the Chapa. Call the helicopter support 30 times. So yeah, you can call in like helicopter support and I think that you can call in something that'll like drop you extra supplies or something. Uh, Patriots Touch. Fire 1,000 rockets. That's one of the other weapons you have access to as like a rocket launcher. Uh, a lighting postponed, destroy 30 pontoons on the beach levels, that's what uh, the enemies seem to come up on, are pontoons, so that's probably very easy. Get your blanket, let 100 pontoons land on the shore, that should also be very easy. Smashing pumpkins, deliver 100 headshots, that shouldn't be a problem. And then army of me, get all upgrades, so there's actually an upgrade based trophy. So overall, it doesn't sound like it's going to be that hard of a game unless the campaign is just really, really difficult, surprisingly, which I don't really see happening. I don't know if the game is going to be co-op or not. I didn't see that being confirmed. Uh, if it is, then that would obviously make it much easier. But otherwise, it just looks like a really grindy trophy list, like complete the campaign and then grind out a bunch of other stuff that might also come naturally. So I doubt it would be that hard given how the previous Heavy Fire games were, but I guess you never know, so... Yeah, this game was a really big surprise. I was not expecting to see this or to ever see another Heavy Fire game. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you for the next one.